Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Tuesday, November 8th. So I just felt like vlogging today and kind of this week just because I haven't done a good, like, full vlog in a while. Um, and this week is a little bit slower. Like, I'm done with all my midterms. I took my last midterm yesterday. That was not fun, but it happened. So things are starting to slow down before they like pick back up again before finals. So I wanted to vlog. Um, I'm actually heading out right now. I'm gonna go on a run. Randomly just got the urge to run. So I'm gonna go do that. But I also have some other things that I wanna get done today and some like appointments and stuff. I would sit and chat, but I'm just really too excited to go run and listen to Midnight's right now. I am that girl. I I love that album. I love anything Taylor Swift does. Like I just I will blindly fall in love and follow anything she does. There's worse things that I could be addicted to, you know? She is the only like celebrity artist whoever that I'm just like really a stand for. Like I am a Swifty. I know that's like the most vanilla thing ever, but also, um, I've had these for several months now, but the, uh, corded headphones, they're definitely back. I know they're not, like, convenient or anything, but I like it. Plus, um, I think, I don't know if there's any actual, like, scientific literature on this. There might be, and I just, like, don't know about it, but... Bluetooth headphones are like not great for brain health. So, like it's like radiation and stuff, I don't really know. But I found that out after I got my headphones with a leash on them. So I was ahead of the trend, I guess. Hey guys, so I'm coming to you kind of from the future with short hair. But I wanted to, you'll see a lot throughout the video that I'm mentioning this little green drink. I want to take like a quick sec and introduce you guys to Magic Mind, who kindly sent me some stuff and they are the sponsor of today's video. So what it is, you'll see in the video, isn't it cute? It is this little, looks like a green shot, but there's so much in this. Recently with like my work schedule picking up and being a full-time student, I get these awful, like, horrible afternoon slumps and then I can't, <laughs> for the life of me, sleep at night. And so I've been looking for something to kind of regulate my sleep schedule and help me, like, with that process. So if you know me, you know I'm a big matcha girly in addition to coffee. And matcha, which is in this little guy right here, has, it's kind of like a slow uh, release caffeine effect. So here's the thing, caffeine doesn't actually, like, give you energy it just kind of blocks the tired feeling for a time but then after that effect wears off you get this like huge caffeine slump but matcha has in it something called l-theanine which helps aid in that like slow release process so you don't get that huge we're taking out my trash right now and a lot of times coffee can just make me feel like super anxious which i don't i don't super appreciate I already have enough of that, like I don't, I don't need help in that department, you know what I'm saying? So what I like to do is keep them in the fridge so they're chilled. And I don't, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna be super honest with you, I don't, I do not take shots, like of anything. I don't do it. I, it doesn't work for me, I can't do it. So what I do, and they sent me a little card that has like a couple different recipes on it that you can use these in. What I've been doing is I just mix it in with a little bit of ice water. It also helps me increase my water intake for the day. So I've been taking it for several days now and I actually, I feel just like so much better. There was some crazy stuff happening beginning of last week um, with like the lunar eclipse. You'll see, you'll see. And I was just like not feeling great. But the more that I took it, like towards the end of the week, I was just feeling better. But I also feel like I was just less tired throughout the day like I didn't crash as much as I usually do um I was just in a better 
overall mood towards the end of the week. So if you guys would like to try Magic Mind, I will leave a bunch of information down below in the description box. If for some reason you're not vibing with it and it's not your thing, then Magic Mind is offering a 100% money back guarantee. Um, so it's like totally risk free. You should just like try it. So the code will get you 20% off your purchase and I think you should try it. Cause there's no risk. It's just like, why wouldn't you, you know? Okay, I just took a shower. I didn't wash my hair, obviously, um, because I'm actually getting it done today, so there wasn't really any point. Um, what? Okay. If you watched my last video, I kind of went into my skincare routine, but I got a couple new products. I'm gonna share a little bit. Um, but I've shared this before. It's like really echoey in here. I don't, I don't know why. I've shared this before. This is the Clear Stem uh, Cleanser, but I really like that. It's on the pricier side, but I found that it's really helping to clear my skin. Over the last several months, um, I've just had like horrible breakouts, like especially around this area my face and actually some of my forehead kind of everywhere um and I was like really over it so I wanted to invest a little bit into my skincare that's been helping and then I've been taking the supplement that I showed in my last vlog too also by clear stem and I also said in my morning routine vlog that I was in the market for like a new moisturizer um because this one it's like fine it's like basic but i found out it has like some pore clogging ingredients um and i don't notice an issue with it like on my skin or like on like my body skin if i'm using it um but on my face i wanted to try something else so good molecules actually sent me this package this isn't sponsored, they just like sent me random PR. Um, and I got a few products. I got a toner, I got, I only use that at night though, but um, I got this peptide serum, this hyaluronic acid. This is the moisturizer they sent me. I don't know if this is their full size because it's kind of like teeny tiny. That's what I'm gonna put on my skin and then I'm also gonna do my, um, I'm running really low on these actually. Um, Saint Tropez face tanning mist. I also found out recently I was washing my face like in the shower and I take really hot showers but I try not to get like like I don't wash my face with the cleanser or anything in the shower anymore because I found out that like super hot water is not good for your skin. Mm -hmm. to go and I don't actually know what to do it's 10 30 and my appointment's at 11 it's downtown which is gonna take me like a half hour to get there I don't I like have stuff I could do kind of I'm wearing my Birkenstock dupes that I got off Amazon um these jeans from Nasty Gal I love them and then I just like cuff them at the bottom. This top um, is one of my favorites. It's just like a simple gray like cropped t-shirt off Revolve. The brand is um, All The Ways. I'll link it below. This I actually got thrifting. It's like a corduroy um, jacket shirt thing and then I just threw a hat on. Um, this is from New York or Nowhere. But I just threw it on because I'm going to get my hair done and it's like gross. So I just wanted to throw it on. So um, also I got new bedding um, or I got new bed sheets rather. The duvet is the same. Um, but I also got these off Amazon. I'm like annoyed with Amazon recently. Um, a few months ago I got an email saying that they like not discontinued 
they basically like kicked me out of the Amazon influencer program and I'm not really sure why. I was like, maybe they changed their like follower requirements or something, but I know I have friends who have similar or smaller followings than I do that are still in the influencer program. And so I keep reapplying and like following all the rules that they want me to follow and everything and they keep saying I don't qualify. Um, so I don't really know. Follow me on Instagram and on here if you're not, I guess. So then maybe they'll, they'll accept me. I'm not really sure, but I've reached out a few times and they send me this list of rules that, not rules, but just like things that I should try to do to like increase my chances of being accepted um like you have to clear your browsing history and like make sure you sign up with a certain email that, and I don't know so I did all this stuff and it's still like no so that's annoying but because I have so many good Amazon things I want to link for you guys and I like I do I'm not gonna like gatekeep stuff because I don't get a kickback from it whatever but I don't know like I'm doing all this stuff I kind of like want to check you know so they like no one cares about this they like sent me all the money that I had in my account they like put it like direct deposited to me and they were like have a good life okay I decided I'm gonna take a half hour and just read and journal before I go to my appointment that might be a better use of my time I downloaded this app here I'll show it to you called habit I think, whoa, what just happened? Okay, it's called Habit, uh, yeah. And you just enter different like habits that you, you wanna track. Um, so here's the ones that I have that I track every day. So I guess I can, I'll put that, I went on a run today, but whatever. Um, have not drank 60 ounces of water yet, but I've drank some. So you can put as many different like, habits as you want on here it'll like track them for you i don't know it's kind of cool it keeps me accountable i think guys i was waiting for the time when someone would do me dirty with my hair <laughs> and uh I think it happened. For context, I usually go get my hair done at the Paul Mitchell school. So they're like still students doing my hair. And I've never had an issue before. It's always like worked out really great. Um, and like I get it, I get the struggle because I am also like seeing general population, like treating patients um, in our student clinic. And so like I get it, it's like, a, it's like not perfect. Like I, whatever. Um, <laughs> I wanted oh my god I feel like that um the tiktok with that like the girl that like shows her nails which um like this is what I wanted and then it's like not like the picture at all I'll, I'll show you this is what I wanted and this is what I got uh do you see this like I wanted some layers oh my god it's like not blended at all but it was literally $12. So I think it's like fixable. Uh, yeah. Um, and I like, I don't see, I don't know where the layers are. Like I'm not really sure where the layers are. But it literally took, it literally took so long to get my appointment with the 12 and I, left at three o'clock and again i like i'm not like mad or angry or i'm like i want my money back because it was literally twelve dollars um but i had to like cancel a um private lesson that i had at the gym um that was supposed to be at 3 30 and i thought i'd be done like in an hour an hour and a half tops with this haircut and it took almost three hours so I'm just, sorry, that's my fridge. I'm just annoyed. I'm making lunch right now though. It's 3.38. That's my air fryer going.
get someone else to like fix it. Also, I feel like I never like my hair as soon as it's cut. Like I need to live in it a little bit and just like let it like do its thing for a week or so. And then it usually turns out better. Um, here's what I'm making for lunch. I guess it's like lunch slash dinner now because it's nearly four o'clock. But this is really easy and it's been pretty tasty. So I just bought like a Caesar, okay. I'm gonna get annoyed with it. I just bought a Caesar salad kit um, when I was grocery shopping this weekend. And I've been doing like chicken Caesar wraps and I got some like chicken in a bag that I threw in the air fryer. And I've been doing little chicken uh, Caesar wraps. So I'm gonna make one of those because it's quick and it'll fill me up, but it won't be like too filling. Also probably eat something later tonight. So all of today, not all of today, like it's fine. It's not a big deal, but there's been like several occasions today where um, people are just, you know, there's been people and it's fine. Not a big deal, but like asking me to do things or like complaining, about, just like people, just like one of those days where you just like are over people. I need to take a bite of this. I need to start like protecting my peace. That is my new thing recently. Um, not really doing it, but saying it because I'm kind of bad at it because I love uh, making sure that people don't feel like I'm a burden um, and that their needs are met before mine. So um, it's not going great the whole protecting my peace thing, but I'm aware of it. So, um, I'm gonna eat this and then I have to go to work for the rest of the evening. Good morning. I literally stayed in bed, um, just to avoid like getting up to look at my hair. I also went to bed really late last night cause I was on FaceTime with my sisters, just chatting. I think I originally called my older sister for her to look at my hair. Um, she like has done my hair like multiple times in the past and she was like damn that is bad and I was like yeah I know and now my battery's about to die I like curled it last night at the suggestion of my sister I literally just curled it and that didn't put any product so it's like it fell and I slept on it. It hides the unevenness in the like of it a little bit. It's like still very much not good. I messaged this girl last night. Um, she messaged me, she's like from St. Louis. Um, and she was like, hey, I'm a hairstylist. This was like a couple months ago. She was like, hey, I'm a hairstylist here and like would love to do your hair, whatever. And I was like, Oh, I've been needing like a cut or a trim. This was a few months ago and I just kept putting it off. And I forgot that she had messaged me and I usually go to the Paul Mitchell school anyway. And so that's just like what I was thinking. It was like what was on my mind. And so I messaged her last night and I was like, hey girl, can you help me? Cause I need this fixed. It's like, it's pretty bad. And so then I, well, I went there because it's like in a very inexpensive, um, haircut for services plus I get a 25% student discount so it's li it's literally like pennies that I would have to pay. I usually get my color done there. I get four bowls of bleach because my hair is so long and was long but it's so thick. When I do like uh, redo my highlights and when I was going blonde more I would get four bowls of bleach in my hair and I would pay like $55 without tip or anything with like the regular like discount because they're students and because I'm a student, I get a 25% student discount. I literally paid $55 for four bowls of bleach. That's insane. And it always turned out good. So I didn't think there'd be an issue. I'm sure everyone's like over me talking about my hair. So I'm just going to, that's a lie. I'm probably going to talk about it. And I have not, a... why do I do this to myself? I don't have any time to get ready. I have to be in the clinic today. Here I am like making a full breakfast. 
who do I think I am? Um, but I have to be at the clinic at 8.45. It's 8.09. Um, school is a little over 15 minutes away. And I am not ready in the slightest. I was talking, again, to my sisters last night. And they're like very into astrology and like very smart about stuff like that. Um, hold on. There was a lunar, or was it a lunar eclipse or a solar eclipse? There was an eclipse, I don't know, but it was in, I think it was lunar eclipse because I have a Taurus moon. Um, but it was in Taurus. There was a lunar eclipse in Taurus, I think. Here's my breakfast, by the way. Boom, literally like the same thing I had yesterday. Hopefully my Magic Mind little green juice concoction will make me feel better. And I was like talking to them about like, oh, I'm trying to like protect my piece and it's like not working. And they were like, yeah, it probably won't work. Just like hold off on that for the next few days because it's probably gonna be a little tough. I was <laughs> like, it feels like it. I'm only in the clinic from nine to 11.30. So just like a little bit and I don't feel like getting ready. So I really think I just might wear this sweater and then like my comfy Princess Polly trouser pants. And I'm gonna I'm gonna feel like I'm wearing pajamas. Okay, here's the outfit. I don't love it. I don't like it. There's Cole's toy, but I did like a half up with this clip and it kind of hides like the unevenness and then I'm just gonna like throw some mascara on I actually packed my like Birkenstock Boston's literally just in case I get too fed up with these shoes um and I wanted to be even comfier but I'm about to be late so I'm gonna go see patients I look like a grandmother oh my god okay Okay, I'm, oh my god, I'm sweating right now. Why is it 76 degrees in St. Louis today? It's November. Okay, so I'm done. Where are my keys? I'm sitting on them. Okay, I'm done. Um, I'm just done. <laughs> I'm okay, I need to. But my friend Katie just voted me $5 to get a coffee because I was complaining to her. And so I'm gonna go get a coffee at Starbucks. Good morning, everyone. It is like 8.45. I've been up for a minute. I'm filming um, a TikTok slash reel this morning. I have to be in the clinic until 12 30 ish so i have the whole morning um but i'm filming a tiktok slash reel slash short i don't know i kind of repurpose a lot of that like short form content into like a bunch of different platforms but i'm filming a video like i don't know what i'm gonna like title it or anything but i was feeling like really down about about my hair, whatever. Um, because, let me like put this down for a second. I was feeling like the last few weeks, just like not with it, like not vibing. Um, I don't know, just like not feeling super good about like the way I look or like confident in like, what I do on a daily basis, um, just kind of stuck and kind of blah. So I was like really excited to get my hair done because I was like, it'll like, you know, kickstart me. I'll be feeling good, it'll be great. And then it's, you know, you know. I don't, <laughs> I was gonna say I don't hate it. I really, I do. But anyways, I was filming a video like, like um, trying to make myself feel better after a bad haircut, something, to that effect. So I'm doing the full bit this morning. Um, I'm going to attempt to blow my hair out with my Revlon thing. This is what I usually do when I like do my hair. Um, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. 
given the circumstances. Dry Bar Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler. I got it for my birthday, which was the end of September, but I like uh, keep forgetting that I have it, so. literally so long just well half because I literally took an hour to do my hair and this is how this is the final product so I blew it out and everything and I still absolutely hated it and then I tried I kept trying to do like a slick back bun but it's so blunt at the end that like pieces kept sticking out like weird in so I think I finally got it I mean I look like a ballerina but it's something I don't know and then this is what I'm wearing. I got this sweater vest uh, last year, I think, at H&M. I thrifted these pants and then my Princess Polly loafers. I wish I had like a black bag to carry. I do, but like, I'm not uh, like going anywhere, but to work in the clinic. Here is breakfast. I, actually, that's a lie. It's more like, it's more like uh, brunch. It's about 11 o'clock. And I just like didn't eat breakfast or anything because I was busy all morning. Um, I really can't decide if I like my hair or not. Like this. Like that, I don't know. I like a slicked thing when I usually do a ponytail. I don't know how I feel with the bun. It's like, I really do feel like a ballerina. I know I have at least one patient today. Um, but we'll see what goes on. I'm there from 12.30 to 6, which is my longest day at the clinic. Um, but I don't have to work later tonight, which is good. Um, like at the gym. I was thinking the other day that literally next month it's going to be, or not next month, but in a couple months it's going to be 2023. 2023 is my graduation year. I graduate December of 2023. So literally in like just almost a year. But I'm like kind of stressed out about like, I don't want to say finding a job because I don't need to be like that involved in that right now because it's, I literally have over a year before I have to find a job or maybe I guess under a year. But um everyone like seems to know what's like where they're going or what they want to do and I have an idea of like what I want to do and where I want to do it but um I just don't know if it's feasible so like many of you know if you're not new and you've been around for a while I'll likely move back to Pittsburgh or I don't want to say back I've never actually lived in Pittsburgh but that's why I went oh my god there's a deer side note like I live in Missouri it's not like oh yeah it's like a deer ah, it's like they're kind of everywhere you know what I'm saying but for some reason we always freak out but I want to work in like a super integrative setting like almost in a hospital um it'd be dope if I could work in a hospital I'm looking at working in like the VA system like veterans affairs um so yeah I know that I don't really want to work in private practice um I I just can't I don't see myself doing that at all. So, um, there's not like a ton of opportunity. There's so much opportunity for integrated care in St. Louis, but there's not a ton everywhere else. Um, I think Pittsburgh's getting there, but not where like I would love it to be. kind of last minute to get I know um to get like a little bit of a dinner with my friends Taylor and Emma 
and we got a little drinky, but it was really nice. I also forgot that I absolutely destroyed my room today while I was filming. Uh, I don't know if anyone else is like this that does um, like content creation and stuff, but like my creative process is just an absolute disaster. Um, like I will displace absolutely everything in the process. Um, so my room's an absolute disaster right now. But I think I'm going to, I think I'm gonna shower and like take my makeup off and do my skincare and whatever first. No, I lied backwards. I think I'm gonna clean my room first and then do everything else so I can like relax after my shower in a clean room. How was your day, Cole? Oh, you're not allowed on the couch. How was your day? What'd you do all day, Cole? Cole. Cole. What'd you do all day? Did you have a good day? <laughs> oh, oh my god. I've officially transitioned to being an old person because I now like these because you're what? I've become a fan of hazelnut coffee creamer. <laughs> it just feels like it is. I just thought it was like always bad. You wanna say hi? Hey. <laughs> the time is now 10.39. I have to be at school at 10, or I'm sorry, around 11.30 for like a club meeting thing. Um, so I have like a half hour or so, a little over a half hour to kill. I have an assignment due tonight. That shouldn't take long at all. Um, I'll probably do it either after, I usually procrastinate enough that I have to do it. Um, hold on, like, I usually procrastinate enough that I have to do it after work. And it's fine because it doesn't take long at all. But I might do it after I get back from school and before I have to go to work. But I think I want to do a gift guide this year, or like several gift guides. Um, I see people do them every year and they're like very helpful. I, I feel like I'm so bad at giving gifts. I like care a lot about people, but I don't, I'm always concerned that they're not going to like the gift that I give them if I'm giving them a gift. The, like, I want to throw up thinking about someone opening a gift that I give them. Like, that, that's terrifying to me. No thank you. Or I hate opening gifts that people give me in front of them, because I'm like, what if my reaction's like not what they expect? I hate it. So, I think I want to do a gift guide this year um, with like links and stuff, and I'll put it on my Instagram and like, um, down in the description of this video. It'll be like a living, a living document. That sounds weird to say, but it'll be like a Google Doc that I can like edit and stuff and update, um, with links and ideas and stuff. Because I always feel like I am a, a last minute a gal, unless I already have like a specific idea for someone. Um, so I want to get on it early. And I'm normally a, like, post-Thanksgiving is the start of the Christmas season type of girl. But recently, I've been feeling this way for the last couple of years. The Christmas season is really where it's at, like Christmas day, but like it's not special. I mean, it is, but like the season of Christmas is like the fun part. Um, or like this, like Halloween season is the fun part. But I'm usually like, because my birthday is September 30th, I'm usually like, okay, on October 1st, that's when spooky season starts. But then it's like, you only have a month to like, get all the spooky stuff in. Like all the fall themed stuff. And I'm like, there's just, there's just simply not enough time. So I have decided, I've made the executive decision to start celebrating holidays earlier than I previously did. Simply because I, there's just, I don't have the time. So that's what I'm going to work on for the next couple minutes. And then I'm going to leave and go to school for a little bit. And then I also have to finish, I think, 
no, I might have to finish a couple notes from this past week, like patient notes that I have to send to my clinician for him to approve. So I'll see if I have any of those to do, but I don't think I'm behind on any. I think I'm all caught up. I'm, <laughs> I'm back from work and I have a little set up right here. I just have to review a case report. Um, it shouldn't take that long. And then I'm also watching The Crown season five. I feel like I haven't done a week in the life vlog in like a really long time. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Give the video a thumbs up and comment whatever you want, as long as it's nice. Thanks. Also a little reminder to check out Magic Mind. I'll have a bunch of uh, stuff in the description box, like information and stuff. Um, and a link to purchase and information about Magic Mind if you want to check it out further. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I love each and every single one of you. Um, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.